Automating your marketing campaigns is the best way to save time and reach more clients and partners. However, automated marketing involves many moving parts, and this complication can make the entire process seem difficult or daunting. In the Be In Touch CRM, you can use the Quick Setup Wizard to easily configure automation for your new marketing campaigns. This tool will walk you through the initial configuration of a campaign, including the process of determining who the recipients of the campaign should be, when the campaign should be applied to new records, and what criteria are used to trigger the campaign. In the Marketing tab of your CRM, the first screen you should see is the Campaign List. If you are working elsewhere in the tab, just click the Campaigns sub-tab to view this page. For each campaign in your CRM, you will see a Quick Setup button to the right. When you click this button, you'll get a confirmation message. Click OK to start the wizard. The Quick Setup wizard will ask you a series of questions about your campaign. Your answers here will help configure various campaign settings. The first step is to decide whether you want to start a clean setup for this campaign. If you choose yes, the campaign will be stopped for all current records and any existing triggers will be deleted. This option should only be chosen if you are starting a new campaign. If you are simply adding new recipients to an existing campaign that is already running for clients and has triggers set up, choose no to avoid resetting it. Once you have selected an option here, click Start Quick Setup to proceed to the next question. The next question will determine what records the campaign will add and start for automatically. For all answers that start with yes, the campaign will use automation triggers to add records according to the selected rules. Then, start for those records as soon as the wizard is finished. Additionally, records added in the future that meet these criteria will be added to the campaign and started immediately. For the final answer, no, I will manually start campaigns, the campaign will not use automation to add recipients or initialize the campaign process. The campaign will need to be targeted and started manually. Among the yes options, the answers will determine what types of records will be added as recipients for the campaign. For all records, will add all clients and partners to the campaign with no further criteria. If you only want borrowers or only partners to receive the campaign, use the For Records in Selected Databases option and choose the appropriate database. If you select Mortgages Database, you can use the Add Extra Mortgage Conditions to further refine the records for that campaign. This way, you can only include borrower records with specific sources, statuses, funded dates, loan purposes, loan terms, or fixed periods. Alternatively, you can target a campaign for only clients or partners that are in specific stages of your marketing sequence. For records in selected marketing sequences, allows you to check which stages will be eligible for the campaign. Like before, you can use the Add Extra Mortgage Conditions to refine this process further. Similarly, you can add records of specific groups to a campaign using the For Records in Selected Groups option. If the campaign targets only records that are currently in processing, you can use for records in selected in processing stage to choose which steps will make a record eligible for the campaign. Once you've made your selection, click the Submit and Continue button below. This will not send out any campaign steps yet. If you are logged in to a marketing user account, the next question will ask whether you want the campaign to start for all user accounts or for only selected ones. If you chose the second option, you will be able to choose users from your account list. If your user account is not a marketing account, this question will not appear. Next, you will be asked if you are creating a co-branded campaign. 
If you want both your own branding and that of your participating partners to be added to the marketing material for this campaign, click Yes with selected participant type. You will be able to choose from either an existing template for your account or a new one, and you can choose the partner types that you would like included in the co-branding using the Participant Type menu. If this campaign only needs your own branding, simply choose No Run Without Co-Branding. When ready, click Submit and Continue. The final step of the wizard is to choose whether current records in your database are applicable for this campaign. If you want the campaign to be started for all applicable records, both those already in your system and those you add in the future, choose Yes Start Campaign for Existing Records. The number of records that match the criteria you have set will display. If you don't want the campaign to start for your current records, but do want it to start automatically for any new records that match your criteria, choose the second or third options. No, do not start campaign for existing records will not include records already in your system, but it will allow you to add them on a case-by-case -case basis in the future if you choose. Never Start Campaign for Current Records will permanently exclude any records currently in your system from being added to this campaign. Only records that you create after this campaign is started can be added to it if this option is selected. Once you've made your final choice, click the Complete Setup button below. A confirmation screen will appear, and statistics will display representing the change that you made to the campaign. If you did a clean setup of an existing campaign, this will show how many records were removed from the campaign and how many triggers were deleted. For all other options, you'll also see how many records were added to the campaign from your current records and how many triggers were created according to your criteria. You can then use the To Campaign View Page button to return to the Campaign List screen, or To Main Content Exchange page to open the Content Exchange. The Quick Setup Wizard can also be run when you first import a campaign from the BNTouch Content Exchange. If you aren't familiar with this feature, please watch our Downloading Campaigns from the Content Exchange training video in this series. In the Content Exchange sub-tab, when you find a campaign from BNTouch or another user that you want to add to your account, you can click on the blue title to view more information about it. On this screen, you can click the Add to My Be In Touch button to start the Quick Setup Wizard and add the campaign to your campaign list. The process will be the same as before, but starting from the Content Exchange will let you quickly bring new marketing campaigns into your CRM.